I just want there to be a lot more rib meat. A lot more rib meat. A lot more rib meat. Glorious time for McDonald's fanatics because the McRib is back. What is love? I just want it to be loved. We reviewed it once on our channel before. Mm. McRib. McRib. McDonald's. Mm, that's pretty good. Look at this. This bite will be all bread. Yeah, that part's gonna suck. And today I thought instead of ordering a regular McRib, instead of getting a double, what if we got a couple triples? Is that even possible? The sandwich with two extra patties? Yes, and we were gonna get two of those, so two triple sandwiches. Uh, let me see if I can do it. Okay, so it's gonna be a dollar fifty for each patty. That's totally fine. Fourteen twenty-five. Cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Two triple McRibs from McDonald's acquired. Fourteen bucks. Jump cut. Thank you. Oh boy, this is gonna be horrible. <laughs> it was more so for the allure and the tagging of doing this video than really eating a triple McRib. I never thought that I would so little look forward to eating a McRib. Yeah, and we liked the first time we had it. You know, the normal one with one patty? Yeah. I do like it. I can see why people are a fan of A good of it. switch from the, from the burger. <laughs> it's truly... It's an abomination. Yeah, it's really what that word was made to describe is things like this. So I think this is three full racks of ribs. <laughs> I think if you went to an Applebee's and went, you know what, I'm not gonna go with the half rack, I'm getting the full rack of ribs today. But for ribs like these, I wanna talk Applebee's. Eating good in the neighborhood. That's this thing, truly, truly upsetting. Or the best thing ever. The McDonald's Triple McRib, cheers. <laughs> the meat to bread ratio is a little off. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> hmm. I'm always really happy with the taste of the barbecue sauce and the actual ribs. For a fast food place, like, people that are grossed out by this, I, I just don't think it's, I mean, this is a lot, but I don't think the taste is bad at I'm all. I'm gonna be honest with you, I am kind of grossed out by it. It's not the taste, the texture. I think the meat to bread ratio is in such a way that I don't like the way that this meat mushes in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, like, I, with I, one I, patty, it, I don't think I noticed it. Not with three of them, yeah. it's a lot of weird meat to bite through. You notice the weird meat more, you know? Yeah, and it really is. You guys have heard of that channel obscure cooking we did a collaboration with this is just something you can serve you eat too much of it it's just it's weird and obscure that's interesting I think if the ribs were a little more tender yeah it would work about it's just biting it's through pretty and... tough but I think they went pretty weak on the onions probably out of displeasure with us mm -hmm. having to make it oh boy I don't know if it's me working a minimum wage shit job, but stuff like that breaks my heart because I know anytime anybody comes in and makes my life, which I already hate and despise just by nature of working a minimum wage job, anytime someone makes it a point to make it more of a pain in the ass, oh, the rage that fills my soul. So for <laughs> making someone do that, oh boy, I do not condone that. I suggest getting the regular McRib if you're a, a viewer. <laughs> but enjoy this. Mm -hmm. We'll do stuff so you don't have to. Yeah, if you want to see what it's like to have a triple McRib, you just watch a channel. Yeah. You know, you go do it. Right. Man, it's not bad. I just, I bet you it would be a lot better if there was a lot more onions. Because the onions on this are so good with the onions. Like, I've gotten two bites that had a niblet of an onion on it, and it tasted good. If I got to taste the onions better, I would have gave it a higher score. Yeah. Something about the crunch of the onion and the flavor of it that mixes well with this. It looks like it's just on the top bun, so obviously with the mix of one rib patty, it'd be good. See, these onions are nice and like caramelized. The perfect doneness, because the heat of the sandwich kind of makes them even softer. See, I'm not getting the so I'm getting a crispy fresh onion. Right, but I'm saying, look at, they're a little more translucent than a normal one because some of that grease and stuff is mixed in. Huh, interesting. It is a raw onion, but because it's hotter, it's kind of got like a little juicy crispness to it. I like it. I don't think the science is gonna hold true to that. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Do you think the McRib is cooking that onion right now? I don't know if the science is holding up that putting raw onions on a McRib and then handing it to me in that three to five minutes is cooking it through, but I do think that's a very interesting theory. <laughs> the trick is, to undercook the onions. I'm serious about this stuff. Progress report. If you're sensitive to really gross half-eaten food, click away. <laughs> so here's what we're working with now. V very vulgar, disgusting traffic accident happened down here. 
Everyone was injured. Very little survivors. Yeah, it looks like a couple of the World Star videos I've seen where they just don't stop punching the guy in the face. Yeah, you know? it's like he's not moving and they're still swinging <laughs> yeah, they're away. Just, oh, he's obviously out cold, just yeah. taking shots. Yeah, I'm gonna take one of these on <laughs> one of these rib patties off. So regular ribs, there'd be a bone here, right? Mm -hmm. And you'd separate this. So what did they do? They pulled the bones. Press. Okay. I don't think, yeah, I don't think they- Just rib meat pressed into a patty? Yeah, I think so. And then pressed to make it appear as though there's bone. Kind of like those grill marks at the Burger King hot dogs, right? Added yeah. later. Is that added later? Spray painted on? Yeah, because it makes it look like there used to be a bone there. Yep. Or would you just turn the bone into meat, McDonald's? You figured out how to beat science? Magic. Transforming Maybe stuff? that's how they did the onion, too. Maybe you know, they beat science and learned how to side. make rib cook onions. They're on my side. And fake science. You ever had a make rib cooked onion? <laughs> You ever had a bone turn into rib meat? McDonald's has done it. They did it. They done did it. Not your traditional video, where you just order something off the menu and leave it alone. I really tampered with this one. <laughs> Evidence has been tampered with. <laughs> it's a mistrial. It's a miss video. Miss review. <laughs> mistrial. All right, well, out of five disgruntled minimum wage workers, how many disgruntled minimum wage workers do you give the triple McRib for McDonald's for seven-ish dollars a person? Remember, a dollar fifty extra for every rib patty you add. First off, I'm super interested in what Google Images bring up yeah. when putting in disgruntled. <laughs> Disgru <laughs> hey, let's have I fun together. You, it's let's show it. Disgruntled minimum wage worker PNG oh, enter images go. I bet it's brutal. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. Now I'd like to read this. <laughs> they actually just a bunch of charts and statistics that if you look at closely are extremely depressing. <laughs> um, back to the episode. I'm editing the video right. You get it. Now I'd like to rate this and I don't know if this is possible. I guess it's our show. We can do whatever we, we want. We can do whatever the hell you want. But you know how sometimes like, I don't, actually I don't know if this is true or not. I, this might just be what I think and I might be wrong. But you know sometimes like in sporting events, like maybe figure skating, which I don't know how the rating actually works now. I'm just guessing. It's all judges. So it's all judges, yeah, right? Right. But I think they can like do it on different things. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Like it's technique and this not and that. Not falling. And you know? Yeah. Like there's multiple categories at the rating and then it's compiled into like a solid score. That's true. I kind of like, because I want to give it a bad score on taste because it freaked me out, but I don't think that's indicative of the thing as a whole. Right. Like, I want to give it a good score for, like, attempt. Right. Like, creativity? Mm. Creativity score on this. I feel like I got to go high. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. I know nobody ever heard of no triple decker McRib. No, for damn good reason. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I give it, like, a four on the creativity. Creativity. Side. Yeah. But I gotta go, I mean, below average, because it was weird to bite through it. And probably outside of this, it says tender, tangy, tasty, real pork. Tempted? Probably a two, maybe a little less, maybe 1.75 in like taste. Yeah. And that's not the McRib, that's when you take three, the more processed rib meat, something about it. Yeah, good. I, I think most people are gonna agree with you that more processed rib meat is a bad thing. Yeah. So I'm not too many people out here going, man, f that. These guys are stupid. I wish I had the money to bathe in that. Oh. I bet you if they, they do, they then... probably still will. We'll have at least three people, three assholes. <laughs> they do that any any video. Yeah, yeah that's, there are always three assholes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if I gave the flavor, I think I gave it a two, then with the creativity added, it's, it would be up to a 2.1. Okay, I'm not gonna get into all that, and I'm just gonna go ahead and rate it overall based on what it is out of five in my head. In my head, I'm gonna go 2.7. Wow, above average? Above average of a sandwich. And you couldn't even finish it. Oh, I can it, finish it out of, I just, it was above I average, could. but we're eating more later. Wow. Are we eating more later? I'm, uh, I'm a little surprised. I don't, I, I'm not convinced that you stopped eating because you're saving room. You gave it a 2.1, I gave it a 2.7, that's 0.6 more, and you're acting like I gave it a five. I hold strong to that average that average thing I think is like I, I, I get I, that I'd eat a whole average fast food sandwich this I could not eat the entire thing I think that um you know based off of my review based off of uh, what I want to give it I'm giving it a 2.7 I'm sticking with it yeah uh, if you guys want to trust that and value that opinion I mean so be it it doesn't matter what they think <laughs> I'll tell you what I think it doesn't I matter what you think this video exists regardless of people's opinions. Well, no, I meant for them to go eat it. Don't eat it. Don't get a triple. We've already said that. If you're trying to just get the taste of a McRib, you don't need triple patty meat. Mm-hmm. That's true, that's true, that's true. Eat it, bitch. It's always good. As time goes by.
Thank you guys for watching another Number 6 with Cheese video. We're here Monday through Friday, so if you have not seen our videos before and you thought they were pretty cool, give us a subscribe. That's a YouTube thing. If you're watching this on Facebook, give it a like or follow our page. Society deems that we have an Instagram, Twitter, accounts. <laughs> So we have those too. Follow us there. All the links are below this video. Do it. What if they don't want to do it? I don't give a shit. Just do it, alright? Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Welcome to an old, another full week of fun videos. Yay!